Western support. Key elements of the plan include obtaining a formal invitation to join the Western Defence Alliance NATO, getting access to long-range missiles and a refusal to cede territory to Russia. The international response, though, appears to have been relatively lukewarm so far. Well, we can speak now to Ukrainian MP Vadim Halechuk, a member of President Zelensky's party. Welcome to the programme. Who was this... Thank you for having me. Who was this message aimed most at, do you think? People listening, following around the world, or people in Ukraine? Well, both. Definitely people in Ukraine, uh, because President has come to Parliament uh, and... Uh, uh, this was the way to present this plan, first of all, to Ukrainian people. Uh, we also had representatives, uh, mostly ambassadors and other representatives of different countries and uh, uh, different international institutions present in Ukraine. So this was an event in itself. Uh, because of the recent massive information uh, waves uh, of uh, hey, negotiations are ongoing and Ukraine is about to agree on certain terms to seize the territory. This was necessary to do so that the message uh, is very clear. Uh, we uh, believe that uh, just peace can only come through uh, peace through force formula that President Zelensky has presented. Does the Ukrainian people need a bit of a morale boost at the moment then, as some have suggested? Well, definitely. Again, uh, we see undecisiveness uh, coming from our partners uh, and Russians exploit that. They, uh, right away, they see that as a weakness and push through their narratives, their ultimatums. We all remember that Putin himself said the condition <clears throat> not for peace but for starting talking about ceasefire is that Ukraine pulls out its troops from uh, Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson, Zaporizhia, all those regions, uh, and declares that it's Ukraine, never going to... Yeah. Yes, and declares that it's never going uh, to stay neutral forever and will never join NATO. Uh, we will not uh, bound to such ultimatums because we understand it's not realistic. He is not going to negotiate. Therefore, uh, we need our partners to understand that. This is not a way to go, to, to try to appease uh, the dictator, the, the aggressor. We have to present our own plan, peace through force, as, as we did. So you talk then about <clears throat> wavering Western support. How do you intend to convince... Washington, where we may see, for example, a Donald Trump presidency in, in just a couple of m months um, with perhaps very, very different perspective on Ukraine to Joe Biden or Kamala Harris, but not just Washington, other Western capitals too, to continue or even increase support? Well, yes, unfortunately, we have seen a few examples of how difficult it is to navigate American politics during the election campaign. Uh, and quite frankly, this is what we are told uh, by our American uh, friends. Uh, wait till the elections are over. Uh, the rhetoric will change because that's that's how it works. But we continue to work with our European partners as, as a matter of uh, effect. Today, uh, President Zelensky will be presenting the plan to the European Council, to all the European leaders, and we'll have a chance to uh, discuss in details what it is that we can do. Uh, we're already doing a lot and what we can do more uh, to uh, assist Ukraine, to uh, help us prove that we we can withstand Russian pressure, which we are doing, and all we need is for our partners to act upon the plan that we have presented. President Biden just announced another four hundred twenty-five million dollars, I think it was, for for Ukraine. It sounds a lot of money, but given the sorts of expenses you have, how costly weapons and so on are, is that just enough to keep things ticking over? Uh, well, uh, this is how this assistance works. Uh, every uh, uh, couple of months or so, a new package comes in to uh, replace and replenish what we use. Uh, Ukrainian industry has grown uh, tenfold ever since the 2022. So in terms of uh, the weaponry, uh, in terms of the ammunition, uh, we're doing fairly well. We do lack uh, long-range 
ammunition. We mm. do uh, we do require that permit finally to use that ammunition uh, against Russian targets deeper into Russian territory where they keep attacking us from. Especially, uh, we're mm -hmm. talking about airports and aviation. Okay, uh, but, and that could, that but could, that's, that that's could a good his... sign in itself. Yeah. Vadim Halechik, thank you very much indeed, a Ukrainian MP from President Zelensky's party. This is Newsday. <laughs> BBC Sounds, Seinid Clavar Ak RFM. Dema BBC Radio Cymru.